What is up guys? It's your boy here, Jersey Flex, back with another awesome video. If you're new to this channel, go hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being faithful to this channel. I know exactly why you guys clicked on this video. It's because you're having booty pains or you're having shoulder pains from post-injection of TRT or testosterone. And you guys are wondering, you guys are worried if you have a potential infection or something like that. We're going to get into discussing all of that. But first, I want to introduce our sponsor over here, HTLT Supplements. I've been working with them a whole lot, so if you're interested in some quality supplements that I trust and I've gotten great results off of, go check them out. I'm gonna leave their link in the description down below where you guys can purchase their products. You can browse through all their supplements yourself. The awesome quality whey protein, which tastes amazing, got an amazing workouts with this pre-workout, as well as shred off a lot of unwanted fat with the fat burner. I highly recommend all their products, so Go check them out. Don't waste any time, and we're gonna stop wasting time here and roll that intro and get this video started on post injection pain. Boom! Bah. Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know, I know. There's no going back, and I'm loving the, I'm loving the chase. So let's begin to discuss something that happened to me personally and when this happened to me personally I couldn't really find too many videos online talking about it so here I am wanting to make my own video for you guys so another reason to go down and hit subscribe because I care about you guys I personally could not find a video that was discussing uh, post injection pain and what that produced was a lot of anxiety I didn't know if I inj injected the wrong way I didn't know if uh, you know I was potentially leading to an infection, I wasn't as clean as I should have been, or like what did I do wrong is what I really wanted to know. And the thing is I did nothing wrong. Uh, most times, and I'm pretty sure your doctor, because the only way you should be getting testosterone replacement therapy is through your doctor. This channel is not a drug channel. We do not promote the usage of any compounds. It's only for educational purposes and entertainment. So, but um, one thing that hopefully your doctor did go through with you is if you've never done this before, it is an intramuscular injection. So you're going to have pain in that muscle because it's known as virgin muscle. The muscle has never gone through an injection before. So it's going to be new to you. And that muscle, until it becomes familiar with the process of getting jabbed by a needle once or twice a week or every other day, it's not going to feel too pleasant. It's going to be really sore. And you might even notice like a lump. That lump is basically the oil because the testosterone itself comes in a powdered form and it sits in a base oil, you know, so that oil is going to sit there and kind of make a ball unless you get the stuff that's water-based which is extremely painful so stick to oil deal with the lump in my opinion but um pain is going to be very normal especially if this is your first time kind of using these things so keep that in mind nothing crazy is happening you're okay you're not going to die and i know my buddy out there uh, is probably watching this he can testify and he's probably laughing right now I used to call him every single day I used to text him all the time dude do I have an infection do I have and he was just laughing his brains out I had nothing wrong with me uh, the main things that he told me to look out for and I've learned through experience which I'm relaying to you guys is look out for infections and the way that you could tell if you have an infection is if you have a fever. That's like number one. If you have a fever, go seek medical attention immediately. Number two, is it warm to the touch? That's kind of a tri tricky subject because when you have an injury, which an injection is an injury, your body will send blood to it. So it may still feel warm, but I mean really hot to the touch. That's normally a giveaway sign. And the biggest duh you definitely have an infection is if you have oozing pus. 
at the site. If you don't have any of these things, stop being a wussy, stop being a pansy, stop freaking out. You're just gonna psych yourself out and freak yourself out for no reason. You don't have an infection. You just have to give your body time and also the muscle will develop enzymes that are able to break down the oils and the testosterone more easily over time as well. So don't be scared. You clicked on the right video. You probably did it right. You're just new to it. Once your body gets acclimated, I'm sure you'll be okay. Don't freak out like I did. Now I'm basically going to end the video here because there's not really too much to discuss about this subject. I kind of wanted to keep it short and sweet so that way you guys can get the answers you were looking for. But if you enjoyed this content, we have tons of other videos discussing fitness, bodybuilding, other compounds and whole crazy things. Go check the channel out. But most importantly, go down, hit that subscribe button, leave a like if there's Leave a like and leave a comment if there's anything you feel like I may have left out in this video and I'll be sure to answer you guys. But until next time, you already know the deal, baby. It's Jersey Flex. Let's roll that freaking outro video. Boom! Yeah!